Mama, you ready for your morning treat? Your morning breakfast? Go get it. Alex, like, where's mine? You want one too? Good morning. After the knock at the door last night, it turned out being a pretty peaceful night here at Bass Pro Shop. It was pretty quiet. I actually overslept. And also moved my rig over here in a better position. It's right next to the doggy thing. Well, I finally got my lazy butt ready and I was going to take Mumu over to this little doggy area, but there are a few dogs in there. Mm, she's not a big dog person. Or <laughs> not a person, sorry. She's not a big dog dog. I'm going to take her for a quick walk and when that clears out, then we might go in there. I think it's just a dog training area, so no biggie. There's a trail that goes that way. The day is just slipping away. I'm gonna go ahead and take dogs for a walk. Jeff and Kellogg have joined us and looks like they usually have a pond here, but it seems drained. Actually, it's where I think they divert some of the rainwater. There's another one on the other side over there. I think the street, the storm sewers from the streets drain into here and from here over into the next one. Right, that's what I was just saying. Catches the rainwater. Today's actually pretty beautiful, as long as the wind's not blowing. The daytime temps have been nice, but the nights have been getting cold. Well, also if it's cloudy, it's not that pleasant. It's a path to nowhere. <laughs> the cement just stops here. Well, unless you want to go into the woods. That looks a bit creepy. Oh. I'm gonna drop some or dump some sand there. What's that, Mumu? You wanna put your paw in there? Step right there. Let him know you've been here. Here, you put it here. There you go. Ugh. There you go. Mumu was here. <laughs> so, this is a conservation management area. No dumping, land clearing, or other disturbances to the native vegetation or wildlife. Wow, what a difference when you step in the shade. <laughs> it's chilly. We have an overflow there for this pond if it gets too full. It also spills, like Jeff said, into the other pond. And then if it gets too high, this is the overflow for that. Seems a bit wet back there. It's a service road that goes back into the woods, so we're gonna go check this out. So we were just following the power line road and it's really thick through here with the vegetation but this is the conservation area so that's expected on both sides. We we'll come to this low part here and I don't think we can go through there. It looks pretty swampy. See the road curves but I don't think we can get through there. There is a road that heads this way right into the conservation area so I think we're going to take that and see what's back here. There is a lot of Spanish moss covering everything. It's just everywhere. Yeah, look how thick it is. Wow, that is a monster tree. That's an oak tree there. Wow, that's massive. Probably because all the moisture it gets. Oh, I think it just stops right here. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, we can turn around. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful back here. Yeah. Sure can. yeah. <laughs> if you could camp back here, that'd be awesome. It's very secluded. And that's where we just came from. Looks like the trees and stuff on the lower part here don't survive. It's just probably way too much water here. And it drowns them out. Made it back to the dog park or training area. Oops. <laughs> oh, what's going on there? Who's that? <laughs> you know how they say hello? Silly. So we're going to go check out the other pond. I saw signs saying there were alligators there. Warning, alligators present. No swimming, fishing, or boating. More conservation area. I wonder if there's little pockets of water that they stay in there in the winter. And, oh, I don't think there's any alligators there. There's not enough water. 
I'm thinking during the summertime there might be that does happen. You looking for alligators? Huh? <laughs> Probably not gonna find them, Kellogg. A little waggy butt. Go ahead, go. <laughs> You're taking the shortcut. Okay. Oh, there's actually water in this one here. Is that a duck over there? Or a goose or egret? One, I, I can't tell from this distance. Now there definitely could be alligators in this one. There's plenty of water here. But there's no signs here. Oh, maybe over there on that side. I'm not sure the habits of alligators, what they do in the winter. I'm sure someone can share it in the comments below. Oh yeah, here's a beware of alligator signs. Do not feed the wildlife. The birds are fishing. I guess they don't um, read the signs. I'm not sure what kind of birds those are. There's one white one and one black one, like Jeff said. Oh, beautiful. They don't seem to be scared of any alligators. This is the lot that I almost pulled into last night. A lot of boats here. Ooh, look at the pontoon boats. Wow, they're mainly pontoon boats. Holy moly, look at that thing. <laughs> Do I? $74,000. 74000 Wow, that's, yeah, as much as my RV is. Wow, my RV was a little more expensive, but that's a beautiful boat. I keep on forgetting we're in Florida. That's why there's so many boats. Huh, they definitely give you a lot of options. This is kind of like my dad's. My dad used to have a boat. Well, no, I think it was more like the one right there. I guess that's the same thing. Okay. We decided to step inside. Holy moly, look at this massive fireplace. That thing is huge. The king of bucks. Look at all the bucks there. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, and Jeff was pointing out the alligators there on top. <laughs> It's definitely warmer in here than it is outside. They really go all out here at Bass Pro. It's like a jungle up there. Are you the African safari? Or wilderness? Look, Moomoo, do you want to make a friend? Come on. Say hello. <laughs> I can always tell when my battery's about to die. It does a weird coloring thing on the screen. But we put the dogs up and we're going to walk in. Grab some early dinner. It's in walking distance, not too far from here. I think a couple blocks, right? Yep. Ooh, cinemas. I haven't been to the theater in a long time. We came here to the Neapolitan Pizzeria. It's Medici. Wow, this is pretty fancy. Oh, it's like our outdoor furniture a little bit. Okay, there's a lot of separation here. <laughs> I feel like, can I, maybe I can scoot over and scoot this one closer. Because it's like, there we go. <laughs> it's weird. It reminds me of Panda Express, the way they have that bar there. Ooh. Hi, nice, thank you so much. Thanks. So we got the New York style pepperoni pizza. Mm -hmm. And then this chicken calzone. Wow. <laughs> Those look, both look big, huge. All right, we're gonna split the food. Oh, okay. Look at mine. It's ready, it's ready cut, yeah. Ooh, it all looks so yummy. So this is stuffed with spinach, I think mushrooms, and chicken. The pizza's really good. It's hot though, everything's still pretty hot. Wow, the calzone is yummy. 
The calzone and the pizza was yummy. The pizza was more yummy than the calzone, but it was still good, huh? French pastry. Oh, le macaron, macaroon. Oh, French pastries. Ooh. <laughs> But yeah, the food was good. It's just the music was kind of loud in there. I didn't want to film too much. Why, well, stinky? Hey, I'm oh good. Yee, yee. We did make it back. Wow, well, you can tell as soon as that sun goes away, the temperature really starts to drop. It's getting chilly. I think it's supposed to be 30 degrees tonight, so we're probably just going to stay in the warm rigs. I'm gonna turn my furnace on. It is doggy dinner time. Yay! Can you turn on that furnace, please? Turn on the furnace. Yeah, the heater. If we just get a little further south, it won't be this cold. I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today, and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be over here. Or if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, it'll be right there. Bye for now.